It's day three of our 2023 New Year's Challenge. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. That's right, it is day three already. If you are new here, I can put a link right up there to the first video of this challenge, but know that every video is standalone. You can hop in at any time. You can repeat any class that you particularly love. Now today's class is a Pilates yoga fusion class. It's meant for all levels and for the most part we don't use any props. You can always grab yourself a blanket or maybe some yoga blocks if you know you need those extra things for your knees or maybe your wrists. We will be doing a lot of good hip stretching and strengthening in this class so hopefully it will feel delightful. As a reminder, this week's theme is I give myself permission to love my body. Now, particularly for me, when I'm doing some hip stretching and strengthening, I often get a few pops and clicks in my hip now and then, and I just remind myself it's okay that my body makes those noises. Some days it doesn't feel quite as good as others, so it's all right to love your body in whatever sort of shape it's in right now. Maybe it's feeling so strong and ready to move and groove. Maybe you need to take it easy today. That's great. That's wonderful. I am so excited you are here. Roll out your mat. Let's get started. We'll start near the back of our mat, fingertips dangling, ears lift high. Take a big inhale, hands lift up to the sky. Exhale, flip the palms, press them down to your sides. Inhale, swim the hands up nice and high. Exhale, press them down. This time, reach both hands high and pause. Envision you are reaching up to the ceiling. It's like you're a little kid dangling from the monkey bars. Take a nice big inhale. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Find a little twist to your right. Look forward, little twist to your left. Look forward, release the hands, dip your chin to your chest, bend your knees, roll down into your forward fold. Find your deepest forward fold wherever that is for you. If you're a little higher than me, it is a-okay. But I want you to sway your hips right and left. Nod the head, yes and no. Maybe grab your elbows and a little ragdoll side to side. Eventually pause, soften the knees a little more, really tuck the tail so you're rounding through the back of the body. Take a big, full inhale, easy breath out. Look up to the top of your mat and crawl into a downward facing dog. We won't be here too long for any of my friends that are not big downward facing dogs. And if anyone really wants to skip it, just find a child's pose instead. I'm bending my knees pretty deeply and pushing my sitting bones up to the sky. Think about hugging your inner arms towards your ears. Maybe sway the hips a little right and left. Maybe paddle through the feet. Nod the head, just finding a little bit of movement. And then from here, look to the top of your mat, set both knees down into your tabletop, belly button in, chest open, lift your right hand high, stretch it up to the ceiling, find that big, beautiful feeling across your chest, and find a few circles of your lifted right arm. From here, we'll thread the needle, which just means to set your right shoulder down, reaching your right arm through the hole on your left side. Now you can pause right there. Sometimes I'm very particular about what our hips are doing. Right now, we're just waking up. So if it feels nice to let them kind of scooch to one side or maybe even wag the tail a little bit here, you are more than free to do your thing. And then place the hand back onto the floor. Reach your opposite hand up. Right hand returns, left hand lifts high. Same thing, other side. Find a little bit of movement of your lifted hand. And then thread the needle on this side. Drop your left shoulder down, pause. Hopefully I'm not squishing my mic too much. And again, if you move the hips a little or if you let them sway over to one side because it just feels so good, you can absolutely do that. Eventually, reach your left hand high once more, let it return to the mat, and again a little cat and cow. 
big and small, fast and slow at your own pace. Eventually, find your tabletop navel in, chest open. Take your right foot out behind you. Grow long from the tip of your toe through your body out your head. From here, tiny circles like we did the other day. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Now from here, I want you to tap your toe off the mat to the right. Exhale, bring it behind you. Now do you notice I'm not taking my toe as far to the right as I possibly can. I could sway it way over here if I wanted to. That's not really the goal. It's just a little diagonal angle. Exhale, back behind me. Little diagonal angle. Exhale, behind me. Two more down and up. Last one down and up. Now this time, touch your toe over to the side and pause. Instead of lifting it so it comes right behind the hip again, lift it straight off to that diagonal angle, drop it down. Exhale up, inhale down. Three more up and down, two more up and down. Last one, lift, pause, take a great big breath. Bring the foot behind you, set it on the mat, sink back to your child's pose. Now you can stay here for a moment of breath, move as you like. You can also tuck the toes and find another downward facing dog. I really like to shine my sitting bones up to the sky, soften my shoulders down the back, maybe nod the head yes and no. Eventually drop both knees down, return to your tabletop, navel and chest open, extend the other foot out and away. Take a moment to pause, really set yourself up. As you feel ready, tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, navel in, chest open. Tap your toe down to the left, exhale behind you. Tap it down to the left, exhale behind you. Three more down and up, two more down and up. Last one. Now tap, tap it to your left and pause. Cinch the waist, broaden across the chest. This time pick it straight up to the left and drop it down. Exhale, lift and lower. Exhale, lift and lower. Three and two. Last one, lift, hold, take a big breath. Back behind you, set the knee on the ground. Once more, sink to your child's pose. Head is heavy. We can stay here and breathe. Or again, find your downward facing dog. Navel in, chest open. Let the head dangle and move, do your thing. No matter where you are, we'll meet in a forward fold. You might walk your toes up to meet your hands to find your forward fold. You might just get up and arrive here, that's okay. Grab your elbows and a little sway side to side. A little nod of the head. Release the fingers, look through the legs, bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Take a big inhale, hands lift high, squeeze your thut as you do so. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Inhale, swim the hands up nice and high. Exhale, push them down. Once more, lift both hands high and pause. Really stretch your fingertips up to the ceiling. Take a full big inhale. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Little twist right. Look forward, little twist left. Look forward and release. Let's walk our feet together. Squeeze the inner thighs like you're holding a slip of paper between them and sit back in a child. Oh my goodness, I almost called that a child's pose. Sit back in a chair pose. Now, this is another place where I often see people arch their back. I want you to pull the navel in to lengthen the spine and to send the sitting bones back far behind you. We won't be here too long and really pause for just a moment. 
Also, slightly funny story, it was last year during our 2022 challenge when I learned a lot of my students don't like chair pose, which is so funny to me. I love chair pose, but it is a big one on our legs. We won't be here too long, don't worry. Take a big, deep breath. Exhale, maybe sit just a little deeper. And then an easy forward fold. Heel toe your feet to whatever feels most natural and comfortable for you. So that's hip distance or a little wider, that's great. Knees can be bent or straight. Again, nod the head, sway the hips. Just find a little movement. And then again, bend the knees, roll yourself all the way up to standing. We do want our feet about hip distance apart. Hands can come to our hips, lift out of the waist. From here, a soft bend in your knees as you step your right foot back. I said right and I did left. We'll do both sides. If you wanna have left like me, that's awesome. Navel in, ears up high. Take your hands over the head. Take them back behind your head, poke the elbows wide. Notice if it feels like you're overly arching the back. There can be some thoracic extension, but we're really going for a strong, long spine in our low body or in our low back. Take a big inhale and a little twist to your right. Inhale, look forward again. Little twist to your right. Look forward again. Last one, little twist to your right. We can pause here, this is a big twist, or we can unravel the arms, stretching them nice and far away. Maybe you even look back towards your right hand. Unravel both hands, lift. And then let's find a warrior two. So you might readjust your front foot so your heel is in line with the back arch. You might be able to crawl the toes further away so you can sink into a deeper lunge. You don't have to. No matter where you are, though, think about squeezing the inner thighs towards one another, lifting out of the waist, stretching your arms nice and far away. This is a little bit more about our oblique muscles here as we slide and reach our fingertips forward. I want you to exhale, contract your tummy muscles to pull yourself back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, cinch your waist, pull back. One more, reach forward. Exhale, pull yourself back, pause. Press down into an imaginary table underneath your hands, keeping your arms active. From here, straighten your front leg, squeeze the inner thighs together, take your back hand to your back hip, and reach your opposite hand high. Navel in. It's like I'm holding your right wrist and I'm pulling it up to the ceiling. Maybe you even lean a little bit behind you. Big inhale. Exhale, return to your warrior two. Straighten the front leg. I am gonna face backwards, which I normally don't do with you guys, but point all 10 toes towards your left. Reach both hands high. Exhale, flip the palms. Tuck your chin to your chest, bend your knees, drop into a wide leg forward fold. Nod the head, yes. Shake it, no. Heel toe the feet back underneath your hips for your forward fold and roll yourself all the way up to standing. Turn to face the top of your mat again. Hands to our hips if we want, off to the side if that works better for our balance. A soft bend in our knees and now step the right foot back or the left if you did the other side. Navel to spine, hands lift high. Stretch from your hips through your body at your fingers. And then hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide. Three times little twist to your left and release. Little twist to your left and release. Last one, little twist. You can hold here. You can extend your hands out and away. Imagine you're wringing out your spine. Almost squeeze the inner thighs together here. Squeeze your foot, especially on the leg that's behind you for me. That's my right. Unravel both hands, lift. Find your warrior two. And again, we might reposition that front foot and sink deeper into our lunge. Ears lift high. Your hands are on an imaginary table. Press down into it. Slide across the table. Exhale, pull yourself back. Inhale, slide across. Exhale, cinch the waist. Pull yourself back. One more over. Come on back. Pause. I take my hand to my back hip. I reach the other one high. I straighten the front leg, squeezing the inner thighs, lifting my wrist up as high as I can. And then maybe 
leaning back behind me. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Rebend your front knee. Straighten the front leg, pivot all ten toes to the right now. Both hands lift up. Exhale, flip the palms. Chin to chest, bend the knees. Roll into your forward fold. Now we kept our legs uh, parallel when we did the first side, so you might externally rotate on this side. Maybe even sway the hips a little right and left. Nod the head yes and no. Heel toe your feet underneath your hips. And slowly roll yourself all the way up to standing. Take another big inhale, hands up. Clasp the hands behind your head, poke the elbows wide. I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see me a little bit better. Roll the shoulders back, puff your heart and chest up to the sky. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point. Take a big, full breath in. Exhale, look forward. Come back down to your hands and knees. Find your tabletop at first, and then push back to a child's pose. Forehead falls to the mat, hips reach back to the heels. Settle for a moment or two. Notice if you can give your shoulders permission to relax. If you can simply sink into whatever shape, whatever sort of child's pose you might be in today, Reminding yourself it's not about what it looks like, it's how it feels. Another big inhale. Big breath out. Roll yourself up to a seat in whatever position feels best for you. As always, my friend, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. Thank you for joining me for class today. I cannot wait to see you again tomorrow.